Good morning, and welcome to the Timonium and Fairview Online Worship Experience. We're so very glad you can join us today, and we pray that you'll be blessed. And in the last days it shall come to pass, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and the old shall dream dreams, and the young shall see visions. From Psalm 104, 24 to 34, we find these passages. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there. Living things, both small and great. There go the ships and Leviathan that you'd form to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. And when you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. O oh God, you sent the Holy Spirit to enkindle the zeal of Christ's followers waiting in Jerusalem for his promised gift. Pour the same inspiration on your people here assembled and on the church of Christ throughout the world. Revive the power of the gospel in our hearts so that it may be to us a sacred trust for the blessing of all creation. Enable your church to spread the good news of salvation so that all nations may hear it in their own tongues and welcome it into their own lives. Protect, encourage, and bless all ministers of the cross and prosper their words and works so that Jesus, being lifted up, may draw all people unto him and the kingdoms of the world may become the kingdom of our Lord and of Jesus Christ. Amen. From Acts 2, verses 1 through 24, we find this scripture. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were some devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at the sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But some sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, who was standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, they are not drunk, as you suppose, 
for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit. And they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. And lastly, it's John 7, chapters, or chapter 7, verses 37 to 39. On the last day of the festival, the great day, while Jesus was standing there, he cried out, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me. Let the one who believes in me drink. As the scripture has said, Out of the believer's heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now he said this about the Spirit, which believers in him were to receive, for as yet there was no Spirit, because Jesus was not yet glorified. This has been the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.